Alright, I'm going to show you how to change the background of your iPod video, which is running on the iPod Touch firmware. So, um, there's going to be several steps, so just follow my instructions. Alright, first, go to Google. Then go to images and advanced image search. Just for example, we'll use The Simpsons. And we have to change the size to extra large and Google search. Right here, we have to find an image that is 1600 by 1200 because then we'll have to resize the picture to make it fit on the iPod. So, see, so here goes one. 1600 by 1200. Once we're at the picture, right click it, save image as, and just name the file Simpsons. And just minimize or exit, doesn't matter. Alright, right here on the Simpsons, right click and resize the picture. Now it's very important, you have to resize the picture 320 by 240. And then resize the original pictures and just hit OK. Once you resize the picture, oh, let me just try that again. 320 by 240. Resize the original picture, no. Just hit OK, it should make a copy right here 320 by 240 so what we do is right click it open it with paint and just wait my computer's kinda slow alright you get the screen bigger and what you do is you're gonna paste from the firmware that you downloaded from Engadget and go to your firmware from where you downloaded it and it's going to be in the extras once you click on the file one title bar and to make it easy just go up here and hit thumbnails and it'll be this picture right here just double click it then you move it over here Make sure it's not on that picture because then it get erased, gets erased. Alright, and right here, just click on this. Just sort of outline this right here. Once you've outlined it, just move it straight over here. Not so close to the edge because that's where the little scroll bar will go. But just right here. Once it's there, just get the iPod one, and you'll also click and drag that one over, just like right on top of it. Once it's there, you can choose like what color you want. Just hit the letter A. Let's say you want it black. Right here, you just hit music picks right here and you just want to put vids on this one you put extra or right you can just put set for settings and right here just push put play and right here what you do is you highlight this and hit the delete button oh shit wait hit this right here and then hit the delete button alright right here just in case you mess up save the, your picture just save it to the original one yes you want to replace it just 
in case you mess up right here. Right here on the bottom right, you'll see the little numbers moving. What you want to do is get it 320 by 240. So 320 by 240 right there. I got a perfect size. Then you just save it. Just do the same one again. You hit yes. Then you hit exit. Once you do that, you go to open up your iPod Wizard. Once you open up your iPod Wizard, you can exit this out. Alright, once your iPod Wizard is open, just close right here. Right here, what you want to do is just up here on the file, hit iPod and load iPod firmware. Once your firmware has opened, you hit right here where it says pictures, make sure the pictures tab is on, and on index, go to the number. Um, 138 that'll be the picture for the theme and just hit load bitmap and get the picture that we just uh, made from paint which is system Simpsons and it'll pop up right here and what you do once you get here you just hit right and then it's gonna say your iPod is gonna be modded And it's gonna say it's successfully modded. It. Then you just hit OK. Now you gotta make sure you hit eject, and just wait till your iPod reboots. And when it reboots, make sure your little Apple sign is popping up, or else you did something wrong. And just wait for your iPod to get connected again, and then you can just safely remove it through iTunes. And that's it.